While I was digging through the drill bit stash, I came across, you won't believe it, some dull drill bits. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and we'd sharpen some drill bits by hand and by machine and talk about both. Let's go. When we look at the end of this larger three quarter inch drill bit, you can get a better idea of everything going on. And we basically have two cutting edges, one right here, one over there. There is a third one right in the middle, just a webbing that's kind of, you have to have with the, uh, the flute of the material. So you have three cutting edges, but really the third one really doesn't do much at all. These two on the outside are your two main cutting edges that actually dig through the material. So to visualize this a little bit better, I'm gonna represent it with some wood chisels and hopefully this makes sense of what exactly is going on. So let's take, uh, take your fir first cutting edge right here and we're gonna represent this with this chisel and the exact opposite side with this chisel, just like this. So we're just extending those. So let's just bring this up. Let's flip these over just like the drill bit was. And as these twist, they're gonna dig out material. But there's a couple things going on. One, they're in a V. The end of this drill bit is in a V formation to actually help funnel, to help it go down in a straight line. So that V would be represented by the chisels actually being at an angle like this. The second thing that's going on is the chisels actually, if they're too flat, if those cutting edges are too flat, these won't really cut in. These aren't gonna do anything and aren't gonna cut into the material. So to make it actually be able to cut, they need to be up at an angle. So you got these up at an angle and in a V formation. And as they twist, now they sit there and they'll just dig in. So V formation and that V formation can change depending on the drill bit. Um, the steeper it is, the softer the material. If you have really hard material that you're cutting in, specialized drill bits will have a very shallow angle where they're almost flat. It just helps them go through slower. Um, and then you also have the angle at which these dig in and that doesn't affect it as much, but the deeper that if they cut in, I mean, if you had them cutting in real steep, it's almost impossible. It would bind up and more than likely snap the drill bit and too shallow. And they're just going to skim across the material and not really go in. So how do we sharpen that? So if we look right here, first we got the V, this is the V second, we have how far it digs in, which is this. So if you held a square up to there, you would see this is the tip of the cutting edge. This is the heel. The heel should always be lower than the tip. So that is one of the biggest mistakes I see people when I uh, come across um, hand sharpened drill bits. And you know, when I get them from auctions and stuff like that, I'll buy a, a unit of sharpened drill bits. And I mean, these are some of the worst ones I've ever seen right here. I'll let's see if I can get you a close up. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. This person tried to sharpen it and they actually have the cutting edge lower than the heel. This one's just completely butchered. I don't, this one wouldn't drill a darn thing. And so we're over the bench grinder. And first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually use the side. I like using the side of the wheel cause it's nice and flat. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just come in at the same angle with it running. While it's running, we're gonna come in at the exact same angle that the bit's already cut at. And you should be able to see that pretty easily. Um, even if it's dull, usually that angle isn't gone. So we're just coming in at that angle. But then more importantly than that, cause you can change that angle up a little bit. That varies by drill bit. It doesn't matter too much. But we don't want the heel Back here, we don't want the heel of the blade higher than the tip. We, so we want this lower. And so we want to grind more off that side. And so what we're going to do is while we're there, I'm going to come to you down to the front, as you can kind of see, is we need to be rocked down. So we do kind of a fluid motion where you come in at that downward angle. I'm coming up to the top. And then you can see that I'm positioned down is I come in, I grind and I just roll away. I grind and I roll away and I just roll away that heel. And if you take more off the heel than you need to, it's no big deal. Okay. And we do that side once, maybe twice. 
and then you do the identical to the other side once then twice why because if you do one side way more than the other that little webbing is going to be pushed one side or the other and then the bit when it drills is going to be wobbly it's going to actually wobble around and not be a perfectly centered thing so let's touch it and i'll show you and hopefully it makes sense my cutting edge right here is square with the center of the wheel the exact same angle i'm going to hit it and roll it and roll it out so i'm going to come in and roll it out i did twice on that side so i got to shoot twice on the other side so come in and that's sharpening a drill bit and it was super dull you might have to do it a couple more times um, you can also take a, a sharpie and sharpie up your tip and put sharpie all over it and you can actually tell where you're grinding So doing it by hand is a very rewarding thing to learn how to do. Um, it's actually extremely quick. It's easy. You know, you can find out really quickly if you have good results or not. And then, but sometimes you can just get lost in it. You know, when I first started, I would just get lost in it on some drill bits, you know, that were completely, if they were completely broken, I was playing around too much. And you can, you can mess stuff up. You can, if you get the tip way too hot without cooling it, you can mess up the temper on it and then it just doesn't uh the edge wants to go away too fast so you don't want to you don't want to get the edge too hot but the uh, the other big problem is is if you grind one side way more than the other that tip moves over and then the drill bit will just wobble or if you're not if you don't have good motion sometimes you'll just you'll put a nice your your third um cutting edge in the middle will be rounded if you're not very precise on how you hold it and if you get that middle edge rounded it doesn't want to cut in and doesn't want to drill good um, so that's something that when you buy a tool like the drill doctor or something to the effect that it pretty much eliminates that so i thought we'd kind of talk about some of these tool toys tools whatever you want to call them that i've accumulated over the years um let's start out with this this is one that i've picked up years and years ago at some auction it was just in it I've seen a couple variations of this. This is made by Blue Point. Um, this is an older one, and I, I'm sure there's a snap-on version of it. And I'm sh I've seen other versions of this exact same thing. Um, what this does is this actually bolts right on the side of your um, right on the the side of your drill press or your um, angle grinder, and does the exact same thing we just did by hand, essentially. It does the angle just a little bit different, but you just bolt this on. This lets you dial it in, push it in just right. You set it up, takes you a minute to kind of get it set up. And then you just rotate this in. You just rotate it and it does pretty much the exact same thing we just barely did, but it's more fixed angle. And this thing, if you find one of these, um, these actually work really good. They don't work for all things. Um, it works for half inch and smaller drill bits uh, this three quarter inch does fit in there but it, it wobbles around too much it's really not designed for it um, so it does work for things like that very very handy little tool does the exact same thing you can do by hand just more precise the second one i'm going to talk about is we'll actually talk about this one this is one i picked up for 40 bucks years and years ago i think i picked it up from actually um um Costco or Sam's Club Costco I believe and it was my very first one it's probably I mean this is probably 15 years ago and it actually worked pretty decent and actually taught me a lot about how stuff is supposed to be sharpened how drill bits are supposed to be sharpened um, and the reason I bring this up even though this isn't available is Harbor Freight decided to copy this identical one don't know why they copied it maybe because the patents up on it or something all hard since all Harbor Freight stuff is just generally a clone of a uh, of a brand name of something. I don't know why they didn't clone this one. Um, maybe because there's too many patents on it. But they clone this. And this works for up to 3 8 drill bits. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. You put a drill bit in and you need to align the tip just right. So you slide it down in here. You align it. If the, the biggest issue if the tip's completely broken off, it's a little off whether or not it's going to actually read it right. 
pull it out, and then you bring it over here, and you rotate it. And it does pretty much the exact same thing this does, just a lot worse. It's in a small little package. I guess if you didn't have a bench grinder or something else, this will do it. This also, I think this whole thing comes off, and I can you can sharpen scissors and knives, and I think the Harbor Freight one does the exact same thing. Um, it works. I'm going to say that. I don't think it's really worth the money though. I think you're better off learning how to do it by hand versus purchasing something to this effect. So this is the Drill Doctor 750. Um, this is the top of the line Drill Doctor. It comes in a Model 500 and a Model 350. The Model 350 is very basic. Um, it can only do standard drill bit angles. The 500 and 750 are virtually identical. I think the only difference is, is uh, the 750 comes with this bigger chuck, so you can do up to a three quarter inch versus just a half inch drill bit. Um, doing three quarter inch drill bits is nice because you can pay for it, it pays for itself faster because the larger the drill bit, generally the more expensive. This three quarter inch drill bit's probably a $25, $30 drill bit. Anyway, it's pretty simple to use, pretty straightforward. Just put it in with this indexing chuck. There's little tabs that line up the drill bit. You snug it down, and then you have, this is your sharpening hole, and it rotates back and forth. There's a little, little nub. There's these lobes, these two lobes on both sides of this. You essentially just stick it in, and it sharpens right there, and then it pulls away from the blade. Sharpens, pulls away. You can see it just kind of rocks it, and you just go back and forth. And three or four turns, and you're done, and the drill bit sharpened. But the Drill Doctor has one other feature that makes this a step above other drill bit sharpenings, is it can do what's called a split point. If you've never done a split point, it's amazing. So you could take, you know, where typically you have that third cutting edge, that web in the middle, like on this drill bit, well, let's just say on this one. On this drill bit, uh, it's a good, that's a good solid eighth of an inch that pretty much just has to plow through the material. Well, this, you can pull out this little plug on the side and you can insert it um, in two different locations. You insert it one side and then you insert it on the other side and it actually cuts a split point in all your drill bits. So it drills through faster, you don't need pilot holes. So that's one feature that this has over you know, these cheaper ones. So I guess the question, which one do I like the most? This one's probably my least favorite. And I said this was around 40 bucks. I've seen this, I just barely looked online and I saw this as high as $80 with a couple other little plastic features. It just sucks. This, this thing is garbage. And the review consensus is pretty much the same on that. This is still actually made, I'm surprised. So it's not made by Bluepoint anymore. I mean, General Tool makes it, which is a decent tool brand and they sell for 20, 25 bucks. Definitely worth it for this. Um, I actually really enjoyed this. It's a little bit more time consuming to set up than something like this, um, but the price difference is is different. You know, if this is in your budget for 125 bucks, I'd go with this because this is just fuel, foolproof. Just going in there, sharp drill bit, move along. You know, in the middle of a job, if you just need to get a razor sharp drill bit real fast, this will do it. You'll just take it in, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you're up if it's really bad or just touch it on the, just do it by hand by the angle grinder for, you know, bench grinder if you don't have the budget for it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this. There's so much to learn on this subject. I mean, there's countless, countless articles on angles and stuff like that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.